Okay. What I'm going to do here is I got this the the Sabrent SATA IDE hard drive. It's aluminum enclosure and it has a fan. It's a 3.5. And I want to see how easy it is to install. Now I just received it. I haven't even opened it, so I don't know what it is. So I get my cat from. Uh, <laughs> She likes to rub up against the microphone, doesn't work too well. Okay, so I just got this in. And we'll see how easy and fast it is. But for the most part, we're going to see how easy it really is. I have no idea, as I haven't even opened it yet. So we get it, and of course it comes with my full packaging. And I will probably fast forward these or pause them. Or anything like that. Okay. Wow. We have a little disc here, a little user manual, a little Phillips, yep, Phillips screwdriver. Um, that's probably for state of drives. Oh, this is. Okay. And a USB. This must be the stand. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start getting work on that. And when I get back and reading the actual manual to find out what it does, uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm restarting. I really hadn't done anything. The instructions are like two pages really long. Um, I'm not really sure what this little disc is that it came with, but I'm not even going to use it. said to remove the screws from here and take out the case thing. So uh, we'll do that. Oh, it's not going to work. At least not for the ones on the bottom. Maybe I'm only supposed to do the ones on the top. One screw. And we'll see if I'll be able to get all this done within the allotted time that YouTube has, which is about 15 minutes. And I'm doing this again. I'll put the just opening it up and finding out we'll discover how hard this is or what we need to do. Okay. Okay. Now what? Well, obviously I'm using a, an old drive here. Oh, I... IDE drive um, and it fits so it must have been a three and a half <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> um, I'm just gonna plug it in right here and here's the power the power coupling thing is right there so I just put that on too. Okay, that was pretty simple. Now, we're going to try to test this. I don't really want to necessarily put it in, but um, push that forward. It fits in there pretty snug. You can see I brought this up this way. Am I showing this right? Yeah, right up here. And then it's all snug back under there so there's there's room in here and everything's going on so according to that all I would need now would be to replace the top you know whatever but let's just see if this is going to work first before we go any further take out the power cord that came with it Okay. Here's my USB. 
be. Give me some more screws. Those screws are... I don't know what they're for. <laughs> uh, by the way, when I was using the screwdriver, the other side was really hard to do. So it was like the side with the fan. You know, they don't want you obviously to take that side off. So you unscrew the, the top part. The one that doesn't have the fan. It's just a smooth side. Okay, so we have our USB. We have our power supply. I'm going to get this and I'm going to plug it in. Oh, it's a nifty one that goes sideways too, so you can plug it and it goes off to the side. So that's cool. Okay. So now I turn that on. Looks cool, it has lights. Of course, I should have my cover on here, but I'm not going to put that on yet. I want to see if this works. And by the way, you can hear it. Can you even hear this? Because I can feel it, but I can't hear it. I mean, it's talking about the, the sound of the, the fan. It's very, very quiet, obviously. Now, I'm going to see about sticking this thing in there. Let me, like, uh, what are you doing? Okay, there we go. That goes in there. Okay, now I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. says found new hardware whatever USB storage device the autoplay things coming up of course you exit that found new hard drive your new hard drive is installed and ready to use okay let me explore and there it is I can't believe it all my files, everything, it's done, just like that. And we did it all right here from brand new with not even the instructions, everything. All I got to do now is put this little guy right here, put this right back on. With little screws. And then it can be put on a stand, it can be put wherever it needs to go. It has little lights to let you know, it has a fan running to keep it cool. Um... I'm ecstatic. I mean, I really am. Yeah, I mean, it's so easy. I now have an IDE drive from a hard drive. This is from an older computer. And I got like a few computers back there. And they're just, you know, I'm just... And all I got to do now, if I want to, is unplug it from the USB port over here. Take my little cover off. Remove this. Of course, power it off. Remove this. Put the uh, another one in. And then I can get all the information off of those old ones. So all my old drives I can either use. I can buy a bunch of these if I wanted to and have all my old stuff on there. I just, I just, <laughs> I'm like, wow, okay. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching this uh, video. I'm going to go ahead and put the screws on and, you know, make a little mount for it over here. And uh, this is really a great, great product. I mean, I would just recommend it throughout. I mean, I don't even know. I'll, I obviously will make a web page for it, website for it, and I will, um, if there's any other th things that happen in the future, I will comment on them, and uh, welcome to you have your comments on that too. You guys take care, and uh, thank you for watching.